It's 17 August. No, it's not. It's 17 June. Tomorrow's your birthday, right? Mm -hmm. What are we doing here today? Getting baptized. Why are we getting baptized? Always say it like that, and I say, you know, I accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yes, I have you ready to baptize. Yes, I'll raise my hand and say, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And then I'll, you need to hold your nose in the water. Okay, so you will pinch your nose, and I'll grab you right here, and then I'll have you right like this. Uh -huh. And then you, I'll lay you back down, and then bring you back up. And probably I'll take the glasses off before she yes. goes. Before you go down. Okay? Are you excited, Jamie? Yes. All right. Are you nervous? Good. No reason to be right, sweetie. That's right. Okay, Jamie, what's today? My baptism. No, but what day is it? June 17th. June 17th, 1990 what? 19... No, Jamie, it's 2018. 2018. All right. So you're getting baptized today. What, is ba what does baptism mean? Committing to God and dunking, being dunked in water, committing that you're a sinner, and being reborn. Fantastic. All right, what do you want to say to everybody? Look at the camera, please. What do you want to say to everybody? Anything? Okay. Good morning, church, and happy Father's Day to all of our dads who are here this morning. What a wonderful way to start off the Father's Day. To have a baptismal service from Jamie K. Baker. Jamie came to see me several weeks ago with her dad, and we sat down, and she said, Pastor, I'm ready to talk about Jesus. And so we sat down and we talked about Jesus and, and uh, we talked about what salvation means. We talked, she told me what salvation means, what baptism means. And then we had the sinner's prayer and she asked Jesus in my office to come into her, into her heart. And I said, well, Jamie, when would you like to be baptized? She said, well, my birthday is on 18 June. And I said, well, people love you, but I don't think we can have a worship service on 18 June. It's on a Monday. So why don't we do it on Father's Day? It'll be a day before your birthday, and it'll be on Father's Day for your dad. She said, oh, that'd be great. So for about three weeks or so, we've been waiting to baptize her, and she's going to come down, and she's going to be baptized. And Jesus came to John, and John was baptized in Jordan. And John said, not me, Lord. I said, oh, you got you. I want you to baptize me. I don't need you, but I want to identify with my people. <laughs> I don't need it, but I want my people to watch the example of what it means that to share your first witness to the world of who you are. And that's when Jesus really began his ministry was after his baptism, because it says after that he was taken out into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights to be tempted by Satan. Baptism doesn't save us. And Jamie understands that, and I know you understand that. It's our first witness to the world of what Jesus Christ has done for us and our acceptance of him. And we want to be a Christ follower. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to baptize Jamie because she wants to be a Christ follower and she wants to be a member of this church. And so I hope you'll continue to pray for her. She's been in this church for a long time, most of her life. And uh, we have been joy, and a lot of joy watching her and Joel Lynn and Jeffrey grow up and and I believe, and I share it with you, that the children who grow up in the church and have a wonderful witness of people around will come to know Jesus at an early age. And, and she is, uh, we're very thankful that they're here, and her mom and dad has been a, also a great witness in her life. So let's pray together, and then we're going to baptize Joel in as we kick off our Father's Day recognition, and what a wonderful way to do that. Father, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to baptize Jamie. Thank you for her witness and thank you for her acceptance of you, of her Lord, as her Lord and Savior. Father, she wants to be a Christ follower. And we pray that whatever, that you'll give her a long life and that she'll be a great witness for you her entire life. As she gets older and continues on through school, there'll be a lot of, a lot of things that will pull from her, pull for her attention and try to pull her out of your fold. But Father, strengthen her through the Holy Spirit and let us as a church. To continue to witness and continue to be wonderful mentors to her and to help her during this time. So, Father, we're so joyous we can baptize her. And I pray you just bless her and her family in this church as we witness her first witness to the world that Jesus is her Lord and Savior. For it's in your blessed, precious, and holy name we pray. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Come on down here, Jamie.
All right, this is Jamie K. Baker. Jamie, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Do you want to be a Christ follower of His? Yes. And you're willing to follow Him in baptism, laying down the old and picking up the new? Yes. Then Jamie K. Baker, I baptize you as my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Because you believed in Him as your Savior, and you're willing to follow Him and follow His commandments, for it's in His name we ask that He blesses you and watches over you as we baptize you in the name of His Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You okay, buddy? Yeah. That one. Thank you, Pastor Pat. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. I hate to run. That's okay. You got, got a church to lead. All right, baby. You know what to do, right? How'd you think? It was good. Did you feel it? This is amazing? Uh-huh. All right. You know where to go, what to do? May I have a hug? Yes. <laughs> I love you. We you might get some. <laughs> you did great, Jamie. Good job. So proud of you, buddy. Okay. All right. Hey. Say goodbye and say thank you. Bye.